here in the bus. Uh, just wanted to do a little intro to this second part of this video showing the automatic dog feeder. Um, whenever I went in and started editing, editing, I didn't realize how much footage I really had uh, and how much of it kind of had to be kept in because each step, if anyone was to want to do this and build an automatic dog feeder like this, may be able to buy one pretty cheap. I don't know. I didn't even check to see if I could buy one. I just like making stuff. But this is a homemade one. And uh, if anybody else wants to build it, I wanted it to have very detailed, uh, as best I could, instructions or examples of how to do it. And I think it would be pretty easy to build one with the information in this video. Uh, if y'all have any questions about the procedure or about, you know, about anything with it, just let me know. But I guess we'll get right on and jump right back into the video. All righty. Well, I was kind of off camera. Kind of was experimenting on things and finally figured this out. Okay, this piece right here is from an axle for a, a seed spreader. Little seed or salt or whatever spreader. You, you pour salt in the top of it. I'll put a picture up of one like it. I don't have it anymore, so I can't show you. But what it is... It's just something that spreads seeds, you know, and stuff. Okay. It had a gearbox. Here's the gearbox. It has a four to one input. Four spins here to one spin here. Actually, which ended up equating to one spin here and four here to speed that up so that it would sling the seeds because this is where the seed slinger thing set off. Okay. Here is how it attaches. This was on the axle. It was driven by the wheels. And it goes on just like that. Okay. If you don't want this thing spinning super fast. So let me give you an example here. Okay, here's how fast it's going to spin. Well, let's see. Actually, it's going to be slower. Probably about there. Because what I'm going to use to run it is not going to be a drill. It is going to be a power window motor. This right here spins. And all I have to do is put the uh, output of this onto the input of that. Which doesn't really line up, but we can do it by using an old socket that fits right on there. It's a 12-point socket. Fits right in these little gears. Just perfectly. It is, by the way, if anybody's wanting to do this, this is a 7 8 socket. Fits right in there. I've got like 20 of those 7 8 sockets. I don't know where they all came from, but I don't need them all. So now all I need is some way to change it from that square drive to this octagon drive. See what we can find. Okay, so I found a bolt. That would thread straight into this. It threads in perfectly and it's good and solid. 
welded a washer onto it, welded the washer to the socket, and now this can fit on here. Whenever I connect the other wire, right there. You can see how fast that's turning and how fast this is turning. Okay, so what I have, this is the bottom of the feed, the feed holder hopper thing. I took off, which it just popped off, but I took off this piece that just lets a little bit of the time out, you know. Took off that piece. That, I think. Let's try it. Stick it up there like that. Something to that effect. Yeah. Right there. All right, I tried it out and it didn't really work. What was happening, you can see this little gap right here, okay? Dog food was getting down in there and as this was turning like that, it was jamming up. And as it jammed, it got tighter and tighter until it just wouldn't turn anymore. So what I'm doing, I put already added one to this side. It's a wiper that keeps the dog food out of here. Keeps it from falling down where it ain't supposed to be. Because it's only supposed to fall down into that opening right there. And that's all. So, I don't know how that's going to work. But, that's what we're going to try. I've got another one right here. That I'm going to put on this side. Get a screw. And put in it. It's supposed to be magnetic. Okay, that's on. It's basically down against it. Okay, now we've got one on both sides, and you can tell there's not enough room in between here for dog food to fall down in there now. So, we can try it again. Put it back together. Okay, well, I guess I got it now. I still have to put some kind of roof over top of it. I'm going to put a roof over the whole thing so the dog food don't get wet. Um, probably just a piece of metal screwed to the lid or something so that when you put this down it covers the whole thing but anyway that's beside the point the point is i've got a power supply right here that is operated by plug-in extension cord which will eventually be hooked up uh more permanently and i've got a relay under here because this power supply was not powerful enough to run the motor and until i get another power supply that will be my power supply for the motor which will have to be charged up but it will run for a long time just running that little bitty motor so shouldn't be any worries there okay I'll have to probably switch to another camera because I won't be able to use my phone to show you this because I'm going to be showing it to you on my phone. So the video quality might change a little bit, but uh, 
kind of bear with me for a second. You can see on my phone, I have, that's the video, pull up this app. You can see, you can't see, might be able to see one of those says dog feeder. I'm going to push that. It starts feeding the dogs. And once I see that they've got enough, because I can see them on my security cameras, I can see the bowl. Once I see how much uh, food we got in there, which it's out now, can hit the button again, and it stops. So, that's how it works. All right, well, we've done it. We now have an automatic dog feeding machine connected through the internet so you can feed them from wherever you are in the world. It's a pretty simple little project, really. It's, it's, it's not that complicated to do. Uh, the pipe, I ended up having to cut it out a little bit bigger on the bottom so that it wouldn't jam up. But now, it seems to work fine. It dumps out the food in just the amount that you want. And there you go. They are wanting some attention, I guess. They're probably glad that they got the, an automatic dog feeding robot out here. But, anyway, how did I get it to work through the internet? That is, that's pretty simple. I've got a smart plug that is plugged into the wall and connected to the Wi-Fi. And it connects through that app that I showed on my phone. When you push the button on the app, it turns on the plug. Plug comes on, the, the, or the power comes on on this motor, runs it to fill the dog food dish up. You can watch it through the security cameras and see it and see how much food is in there. When it gets up to however much you want, turn it off. Uh, you can also set it to run uh, to a timer. Uh, you don't even have to actually be here to, or be watching it to tell. You know, you could set it to run for one minute. I guess the least time you can. It would run over some, but it would it would feed them once a day like that. I think in one minute it would it could probably fill up about three of these bowls though. So, what is the matter with you, Luke? What is the matter with you? He's wanting attention. <laughs> but anyway, that's got my buddies here took care of. So I guess I guess that's gonna about do it for this video. Thank y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next one.